Hi, I'm Scott, head chef here at Garfish Manly. We're gonna be cooking mussels marinière today. Classic French dish with onion, garlic, parsley, and white wine and cream. So we're gonna start by cleaning the mussels. You can get these from any of your local fish market. We're gonna start by taking the beard out. This is what attaches itself to the rock. Just gonna dip it in the water. Scrub with a little butter knife. Removes any debris left from it being on the side of the rocks there. If your local fishmonger's uh, nice enough, I'm sure he'll clean them for you if you ask him nice enough. <laughs> any broken ones, this will happen. Just discard them. A piece of shell coming off from the sauce. And this will take quite some time. This will be the longest part of preparing this dish. It's totally worth it. So I'm just finishing up the last one here. Done. That was honestly the hardest bit. So the mussels are all clean now. I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge while we wait. Just while we prepare the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So we've got eschalot, garlic, bay leaf. So this gets finely diced. Eschalot. Cut in half through the root. That helps it hold it together when you're dicing it root at the top, make little lines across the top there, nice and fine, and then through the center, just keeping your fingers away, two slices. Some recipes you'll find if you look online, they use white onion, brown onion, I prefer to use eschalots, because they're naturally sweeter, and a lot milder in flavor, not so aggressive make a fine dice. Nice rocking motion, keeping your fingers away from the blade. Next is the garlic. So we just crush this with the back of the blade, pushing down, slightly crushing it, and we'll just go through with the knife. Finely slicing, as fine as you can. Fingers on the back of the blade, and then we just chop it. Got it. This can all go together. Just a little bowl here. And this is fresh thyme. Best way to prepare this is from the bottom of the sprig there, and just put it through your fingers. This will give our sauce a really nice flavor. It works really well with white wine, cream. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do before we start cooking is just chiffonading the parsley. Clean our board off. Okay. So this is flat leaf parsley. I'm just gonna bunch this together in our hands. And press it together. And just with our knife, holding it together. Nice rocking motion. Okay, so now that everything's prepared, it's time to cook the mussels. We'll just turn that onto a medium heat. It's the only pot you'll need. And we're gonna go in with the butter first. Yeah, so obviously this is first thing in the morning. All of my other chefs have got things going on here, so don't mind those pots. <laughs> so now that the butter's melted, we're gonna go in with the eschalots, the thyme, the bay leaf, and the garlic. We'll just turn the heat down while it's in there. So we're just gonna, what we say is sweat, sweating the onions. It just means to soften without any color. It just releases the sweetness from the, from the echelon. It's a nice flavor. And we're gonna cook this for two to three minutes, just until they start to go opaque. The echelons have gone slightly shiny, and translucent. So that means we're ready for the next stage. Before we put the mussels in, we're just going to turn the heat right up. And you can hear the sound. Hear the sound. So I just poured in 100 mils of dry white wine and the lid goes on and medium high heat. And they're going to steam for about three minutes until they start to open. And then we're going to add our cream and finish with the parsley. 
while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna get my bread. Brush with a little butter. And into the chai grill. Give them a little shake halfway through. And mix them around. The ones on the bottom will start cooking faster than the ones on the top. And you can tell when they're ready when they let mix around. And for the cream, you start to see steam coming out of the lid. Okay, so you can see a little bit of steam coming out already. A little check. So 30 more seconds and they'll be ready for the cream. Pretty much as soon as the mussels hit there and the steam, they'll start to open. You can see already they've opened up now. So that's ready for the cream. Get the cream. I'm just gonna pop the lid back on for the last minute. see steam coming out again. See the creams come to the boil, and that's ready. So that's as simple as it gets, really. And the parsley goes in, and keep that a nice mix up. You can smell that beautiful aroma. And these mussels, <coughs> you see, they're growing seawater, so there's quite a lot of salt in the mussels themselves. So she needs a touch of salt, not too much. So that's ready to serve now. Got a nice little board over here. Got our toasted bread. This is great for a summer day. Sitting in the garden, with your friends around. Nice glass of white wine. Beautiful to share. Generous. And there we are. Mool's marinier, as simple as that.